Year of the Jungle by Suzanne Collins, illustrated by James Promos. And our dedication page My Dad Reads Me Poems by a man named Ogden Nash. My favorite is about a dragon named Custard. Even though he always feels afraid, he is really the bravest of all. And that's what makes him special. We're all something special. Rascal's the cat. Kathy's the oldest. I'm the youngest. Drew's the boy. And Joni's the only one with brown eyes like my dad's. Like melted chocolate. My dad has to go to something called a war. It's in a place called Vietnam. Where is Vietnam? He will be gone a year. How long is a year? I don't know what anybody's talking about. Then someone says he'll be in the jungle. My favorite cartoon character lives in a jungle. He has an elephant and an ape for friends and he bangs into trees a lot. Rascal and I want to go to Vietnam, too. You can fly anywhere in your dreams. We keep an eye on my mom, just in case she's thinking about going to the jungle, too. But she's always home with us. Then our first postcards come. Kathy reads mine to me because it's in cursive. Dear Susie, this is a picture of a deer. Don't let Rascal see it. He might think he is a tiger and want to eat it. Signed, Dad. A few days later, first grade begins. I have a new lunch box with its own thermos and a friend named Beth. On Sundays, my dad always reads me the comics. Drew does it now since he is the man of the house. Most postcards come from my dad. Sometimes grown-ups ask what he does. When I tell them he's in Vietnam, they act funny, sad, or worried, or angry. For Halloween, my mom makes me a snow leopard costume. One of those worried ladies says, your dad will be just fine, and gives me way too much extra candy. I start to feel worried. Beth and I trace our hands and make Thanksgiving turkeys. Has it been a year yet? I get a postcard of a man fishing in Vietnam. Behind him, I can see the edge of the jungle. It looks different from my dreams. Dear Susie, how do you like first grade? Do you have a lot of homework? I'll bet you don't have a lot of time to tease the cat. Love, Dad. Mom and Drew get a tree. Rascal and I rearrange the manger several times a day. He likes to knock over the sheep with his paw. If I knock one over, it annoys him. Does that count as teasing? My dad sends me a beautiful Vietnamese doll and a fancy silk card with Mary and angels and the baby Jesus on the front. Inside it, it reads, Merry Christmas, little Sue. Don't feed Rascal too much turkey. I wish I could be there to watch you open presents. Your loving father. My mom gets a pretty silk card too, but hers has something stamped on the back. A picture of a soldier, soldier with a bugle and a gun. He's in the jungle. Under him are the words, Souvenir of Vietnam. It's snowing and I get a birthday card. My birthday isn't until summer. The card should be for Joni. My mom says my dad gets busy and just gets confused. The jungle must be a very confusing place for him to make such a serious mistake. Candy hearts. No postcard. Shamrocks. No postcards. 
colored eggs. No postcards. A year goes on and on. Finally, some postcards show up. I wanted ones of one of the jungle. Instead, I get a city called Saigon. Dear little Sue, how do you like being in first grade? Study hard, and when you're home, don't bother Rascal so much. Pray for me. Love, Dad. Pray for me? In May, I make my first communion, and I pray very hard for my dad to come home. He doesn't. I fix Rascal a plate of crayons, but as usual, he won't eat them. From the TV, I hear the words Vietnam, and I look up. Explosions, helicopters, guns. Soldiers lie on the ground. Some of them aren't moving. My mom runs across the living room and turns off the TV. It's okay. Your dad is okay, she says. I don't say anything. Later, I hide in the closet and cry. Sometimes it's hard to remember what my dad looks like. I stare into Joni's melted chocolate brown eyes to try and find him. The postcards stop coming. I dig out a really old one of a kitten and pretend it's new. Summer vacation begins. My swimming teacher throws me in the deep end and I nearly drown because he never taught me how to swim. Kathy wraps me up in a towel and won't let me let him near me, even to apologize. So many things are scary now. Maybe my dad is lost in the jungle. Maybe he can't get out. Maybe he never will. How long is a year? A year is long. Then suddenly, my dad's home! He looks different, tired and thin, and his skin has turned the color of pancake syrup. He gives me a bracelet with tiny bells that really ring. He gives Rascal a pat. Rascal and I stand in the doorway watching him. He stares into space. He is here, but not here. He is back in the jungle. I need to tell him that I know about the jungle about the things that happened there. The words are hard to get hold of. Rascal didn't think you were coming back, I say finally. My dad sees us and says, you tell him that most people come back and I'm home now. It's true, he's home now. Some things have changed, but some things will always be the same. My dad reads me poems by a man named Ogden Nash. My favorite is about a dragon named Custard. Even though he always feels afraid, he is really the bravest of all. And that's what makes him special.